everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! In today's Shansha Amazing episode, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa graphs in motion. Aside from observing vehicles, we can also measure speed by using a ticker tape. A ticker tape timer is used in the laboratory to measure speed. It is connected to a power supply or power input. And a ticker tape is placed beneath a piece of carbon paper disc, yung circle na black, and attached to a cart. Habang gumagalaw yung cart, the ticker tape is pulled through and a series of dots is made on the ticker tape. Let's observe these dots. The pattern of the dots obtained on the ticker tape shows whether the speed of the cart is constant or not. The distance between the dots gives the distance covered and the faster the cart, the farther apart o mas malalayo ang mga dots from each other. For example, in this ticker tape, we can see that the separation between the dots are the same. This means that the car is moving at constant speed kasi ang distance covered niya ay same lang. Next, we have this ticker tape with dots having the same separation but the separation is farther or it is larger. What does this mean? It means that the car is moving at greater constant speed. It covers larger distance, thus, mas malaki ang kanyang constant speed. How about in this example? We can see na sa left part o sa first part, the dots are near each other. Pero as it goes along, the dots become farther apart. Sa simula, maliit pa lang ang distance covered, then gradually, lumaki ang distance covered. This means that the car is moving at an increasing speed. Papabilis ang car. This is seen by the increasing separation of dots from each other. On our fourth ticker tape sample, we can see na sa simula, sa left side, the dots are farther apart. But as it goes along, the dots or the distance become shorter. This means that the car is moving at a decreasing speed, mas bumagal yung car, as seen by the separation on the dots decreasing. Studying about the ticker tape helps us to understand the graphs in motion. The motion of an object can be described by plotting the distance moved by the object against the time it moved. The slope, yung line sa gitna, gives the speed of the object. Let's take a look at some examples. How do we graph an object at rest? Sa ating graph, meron tayong x-axis and y-axis. In our y-axis, we have the distance, which is in meters, and time, which is in seconds. The graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis. As you can observe, walang change sa distance moved and the slope is zero. This means that the speed is 0 meter per second. It is at rest. What is the graph of an object moving with constant speed? Ibig sabihin, hindi nagbago ang speed ng object while it is moving. In our graph, we can see a straight line with constant slope. Slope is y over x. So, the distance moved per unit time is constant. For example, ang distance natin ay 20 meters. 
and our time is 5 seconds. So the speed all throughout is 4 meters per second. Next, tingnan natin ang graph ng isang object moving with acceleration. The graph is a curved line. The distance moved per unit time is not constant. As you can see, it changes. As you can see on our y-axis, nag-change ang distance. So the slope is also not constant and the speed is changing. Since papabilis siya, the distance covered per unit time quickly increases as shown by the curved line. The first three graphs we have shown earlier are the graphs in motion showing the speed. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin ang graphs in terms of acceleration. If the speed of the object is plotted against time, the slope, yung line, gives the acceleration or deceleration. And the area under the graph gives the distance traveled. To understand this, we will take a look at the graphs. Let's find the acceleration of an object at rest. Sa ating graph, of course, we can see the x-axis and y-axis. On our y-axis, we have the velocity in meters per second, and sa ating x-axis, merong time, which is in seconds. Ang slope ay nagpapakita ng acceleration or deceleration. Sa isang object at rest, the graph is a straight line that coincides with the time axis. In this graph, the slope is zero kasi straight lang ang line. So, the acceleration is zero meters per second squared at dahil nga ang area under the slope is the distance covered and as you can see, walang area under the graph, the distance is also zero meter. How about an object moving with constant speed? Sa ating graph, we can see a straight line parallel to the time axis. Why is it a straight line? Because it is given that the object is moving with constant speed. On our y-axis, we can see the velocity. Kapag constant lang, it means the velocity stays the same. Kaya straight lang ang line. For example, we have 10 meters per second and 2 seconds. In this example, ang constant speed ay 10 meters per second. At dahil constant ang speed, acceleration is zero. But there is one thing na makikita natin sa graph. It is the distance covered by the object. We can find the distance by finding the area under the graph. To find the area, we simply use the formula we have learned in math. In this graph, we can see a rectangle. What is the formula to find the area of a rectangle? It is length times width. Para mahanap ang area sa example, we simply multiply 10 and 2, which is 20. This area is equal to the distance covered by the object, which is 20 meters. Next, let's take a look at the acceleration of an object moving with constant acceleration. In our graph, we can see a straight line with constant slope. To get the slope, you simply divide y over x. For example, our velocity is 20 meters per second and our time is 5 seconds. To find the slope, we divide 20 by 5 and then we have 4. So ito ang slope ng ating graph. And ang slope ay equal sa acceleration ng ating object. If the slope is 4, our acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Aside from the acceleration, we can also find the distance covered by the object. Just like what we did earlier, we just find the area covered. Sa tingin nyo, anong formula ang gagamitin natin? Since we have a triangle, we will be using the formula to find the area of a triangle. Area equals 1 half base times height. Ang ating base and height are 20 and 5. Area equals 1 half, 20 times 5, and the answer is 50. Kung ang slope ay equal sa acceleration, ang area ay equal sa distance covered ng object. So in this example, the distance is 50 meters. To complete our lesson about the graphs in motion, let's have a sample problem. In this graph, describe the speed of the part between A and B and C and D. 
We also need to find the average speed of the car. Let's answer the first question. We need to find A and B. Take a look at A and B. As you can see, in A and B, the car is traveling at a constant speed. Kasi it is a straight line with constant slope. Sa C and D naman, we can see a curved line. Ano ang meaning ng isang curved line sa graph? It means that the speed of the cart is increasing or the object is moving with acceleration. Number two, what is the average speed of the cart? To find the average speed, we just use the formula V equals D over T. What is the total distance covered? We have 40. And what is the time covered? It is also 40. Then we divide 40 by 40, we have 1. The average speed is 1 meter per second. Before we have a quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this Shansh Amazing episode, we talked about the ticker tape, graphs in motion showing the speed, graphs in motion showing acceleration, and we answered a sample problem. It's good time! To check what you have learned in our Shansh Amazing video, we will have a short quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct. Let's check if your answers are correct. In number 1, we need to describe the motion of the car between O and A. As you can see, there is a constant slope. 
So, the car has constant acceleration between O and A. In letter B, we need to describe the motion between points B and C. Sa points B and C, you can see that the slope is going down. Kahit hindi siya na-discuss, you can simply use analogy here. Kapag merong acceleration, the slope is going up. So, if the slope is going down, the car has constant deceleration between B and C, or the car is slowing down. On number 2, we need to find the acceleration of the car. Remember, the car only accelerates between O and A. In A and B, constant ang kanyang velocity, and B and C, it slows down or decelerates. To answer number 2, we need to consider letter A. To find the slope, we use y over x, and sa points O and A, we can see 20 on the y-axis and 10 on the x-axis. Kaya ang slope ng graph ay 2, which is equal to the acceleration, which is 2 meters per second squared. We want to know your score. Please comment your score over 2 in the comment section below. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!